Are you ready for this? So welcome back to Rogue M4. It is getting closer to the election. Boy, the hype is really heating up. Uh, there's people saying that uh, if Trump wins, all hell is going to break loose. Some people are saying if Biden wins, it's all going to go in down the toilet, I guess is a nice way to say it. Um, there was something that happened at Philly. Um, of course, Anytime white cop shoots a black guy, regardless if the guy's got a bazooka, a knife, it doesn't matter what he has. But if the cops have to shoot the guy um, because, you know, he's attacking him, that's, um, for some reason, they have to riot for that. I, I don't get it. Um, so anyways, you know, I had talked, I think in one of my other videos, I talked about, um, you know, using pistol and, making like in the rogue m4 challenge you stay at least 21 feet because you know it's it's kind of proven that somebody that's you know within 21 feet of you they can actually get to you before you can draw your weapon and fire for most average people there are some people that can draw faster than that and most average people can cover 21 feet so if you think like they're saying well why don't you just shoot them in the leg or shoot the knife out of their hand really that is extremely hard to do um, even if you shoot them in the leg um, they're probably already going to get to you and if they have a knife they're going to knife you three or four times before uh, you'll probably end up having to shoot them fatally anyways so the whole business about shooting somebody in the leg or shooting the uh, shooting the knife out of their hand or something that that's not going to work folks Anyways, so in this particular case, um, I guess it was in Philly, they got called, a couple of white cops got called to a domestic disturbance call. They get there, uh, the one guy, he's kind of freaking out because most people get really stressed about stuff like that, so he's really stressed. The mom, I think they said, is trying to contain him, but he's just running around. Um, the cops are backing up and he's running around through the cars and he's trying to get away from his mom. He gets away from his mom and gets in between like the two vehicles, gets away from his mom and starts coming after uh, the cops. Now, the cops were backing up between the cars. So when he finally came through the cars, he was not running, um, but he was moving kind of fast. So he closed that distance and it really looked like he was going to kill the officers. So the officers had no choice but to stop the threat using deadly force because he had um, a deadly weapon. So, I mean, it is what it is, but I don't see why people, I mean, my guess is that people are rioting just for the simple fact that uh, they wanna break into stores and set stuff on fire. Now, the other thing that ended up happening during the, they said protest, but during the riot, um, there was somebody in a pickup truck that obviously uh, ran down some police officers that were standing in the street. Uh, one was ran over. Um, she's injured, I guess, pretty bad. A broken, broken leg and some other stuff. If she has internal bleeding, I would probably understand that, but ran her over and kept going. So some of the people get kind of crazy. It's just gonna get worse, I think. So, I don't know. Are you ready to deal with this? It's kinda weird to be in a taller truck when you pull up to the window. There is a window down here. Thank you. Thank you. you too. Well, that was fun. 
No, I, I made a mistake. Because I've been kind of screwed in the past, anytime I go to a drive up, I normally, you know, stop and check my bag. This time I didn't because I was enjoying the music, having a really good day, and I get all the way home and realize that they only put in half my order. And you want these people to get 15 bucks an hour. Are you out of your freaking mind? Um, it's all digitized, right? So as the order comes in, everything's on the order and they check it off as they fill it. A person getting paid 10 bucks an hour should be able to figure that out. And there's some people out there that want these people to get paid 15 bucks an hour and they can't even do the job of somebody's getting paid 10 or less. It just seems like this generation has more sense with computers than the old generation. And even though it's it's done electronically, they still find a way to screw it up. Does it make me mad? Yes, it makes me mad. Half of it's my fault. I should have stopped and checked because you know what? Because you can't trust these people that are getting paid eight or 10 bucks an hour to even fill an order. And even though it's been, you know, computerized to make sure that they don't screw it up because then it pisses off your customers. If you have a angry customer, he'll tell 15 people. If you have a great customer, they may tell one or two. So it is, it, it is to the benefit of the restaurant to make sure all their patrons are happy, not mad. Now I gotta go in there and try to be all calm and tell them that they screwed up my order. Except I'm not going through the long drive up, I'm, a, I'm just gonna walk in. Well, you would have been proud of me. I didn't yell and scream at the little girl behind the counter. Oops. Um, she was apologetic. And then she says, oh, we had three crunchy tacos that uh, we didn't know who belonged to. And I said, well, I ordered a number two, which are soft tacos, so I need three soft tacos. So they did make me three soft tacos. And she threw in a cookie just to make sure that the big guy was happy. That was nice, thank you. So. <sighs> Breathe, breathe. Hey, make sure you check your food before you leave the parking lot of your fast food place. Yeah. Where was I before I was crudely interrupted? Now, we live in a semi-small city. I mean, it's less than 50,000 people, so it's a small city. Um, our physical house is outside the city limits and I don't think we'll ever have an issue with somebody. Um, if by some weird chance that people go all the way up there to cause problems, I will defend my home using deadly force. Because A, that's my right, and B, I have to protect my me and my family. So uh, I would not have a problem doing that. I don't know, you already know who I'm voting for. So it is what it is. I. I have another video that I put on there showing how I made that decision. To me, it's black and white. Um, and don't get smart. No, I don't mean black and white as far as people goes. It's an open and shut case as far as I'm concerned of who I'm voting for just based on the history between the two knuckleheads. I know people don't like Trump because he's a loud mouth bully. I totally agree. But if he's helping me, I'm all in. Biden has done nothing for me, so I, I really don't, I don't care for the guy. And this whole laptop from hell stuff, is it really a shock that he's gotten a lot of, he's gotten rich over the years through his position? Why is that a shock to anybody? How do you think these people make money? It, you probably have to make $250,000 a year to even barely survive in Washington, D.C. And these guys don't make much more than that. And they have all these houses and, they, and all this money and stuff because, you know, they do extra stuff as well. Um, but where do you think that they get their extra money from? Come on, guys, really? <sighs> Just wondering if you guys are ready for this.
You guys be safe out there. Like the video, share the video, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. I need subscribers. So, hope you guys are safe out there. Thanks for watching Rogue M4, and have a great day.